the wagon is getting more stuff done to it. So good morning, everybody. Um, I'm having this running because I'm gonna go grab a rock star. I just woke up, but the wagon today is going to get its subs installed. I just installed a head unit yesterday. I dropped it off at the audio shop and now I'm just gonna pull it back out, run all the wires and do a clean, nice sub job. I still can't get over how this Ford Explorer has a 5.0. Just listen to that thing. All right, so we are back at the BMW and this is the little setup I have going on. I'm going to be running this SCAR amp. I was going to run this kicker amp, but this is only 300 watts or 350 watts, but it's by four. So this means this is a four channel amp and I don't even think that'll turn that sub on. So I'm gonna run this one because SCAR, I mean, there's no way this is actually 2000 watts. So first thing I gotta do is pull this grill off and rewire it to uh, either two ohms or one ohm. I don't know, I gotta decide still, but here's the wiring kit, RCAs and all the connectors and stuff I'm gonna need to do this install. So let's start on getting that off. All right, so I pulled the sub out. I rewired it to one ohm so that it could actually handle what power I'm gonna be pushing to it. So I'm gonna zip these all back in, put the screen back on and get started on the wiring. Okay, so I've taken out all these interior pieces because I'm going to be running the amp underneath the floor probably so the sub is shown and amp, you know, keep it nice and clean. And this is why I said it's going to be so easy because the battery is right here and the sub is going to sit right here. So I use less wires, less work to run it through a firewall and all that stuff. So I'm going to loosen that puppy right there, hook up the fuse to that. Run the wire to about right there with a little bit of extra length and then the ground um i'll try to ground somewhere over here that way it's still close to the amp and i have some room to work and then the rest is head unit stuff all right so this is called a fuse so you're going to want to run this through your power wires so that you won't blow up anything past this this will blow before anything else blows and prevent power from going to your sub and your amp and you're gonna wanna cut it both sides kinda like this so that it'll sit like that and then you run the rest of this through the back to your amp. Now once you've got it run like this, now it's time to hook it up to the actual battery and you do not want to strip this until it is ready to be put where you're gonna put it because once you connect this, that means this is a live wire. You do not want this to touch a ground, that's bad news. So where I'm connecting mine in my BMW is going to be that bolt right there. Just because it seems like that's going to be the easiest to do. Just plop it right there. Call it a day. Uh, the size of that is a 13 if you have the factory battery terminals, which I do. So that's a 13. We rip that off and then we'll put that on there. All right, so the power wire is ran. Um, I haven't cut it to length yet. I still have to mock up where I'm gonna put the amp, which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put it right there, which would be where your air compressor is if you option these cars with air ride suspension. So I think I'm gonna place it right there, see how it fits. And then I think I'm gonna ground it over there with a bolt 
and we should be good. All right, so amp is in. We got power and ground going to it. Now it's time for all of that stuff up there. So cool thing about BMW is this is the factory harness for the stereo. And you could buy adapters like this, which means I could pull it out of the car and do the remote job outside the car and then just run it to wherever I'm going to run it, probably down along here and underneath all that. So... Let's hook up the remote. So on the 5 Series, if you're watching this, to do it on your 5 Series, you're going to want to take this panel off so you could run the wire up and through here so you can do all your wiring right here. But don't go just pulling at this thing. There's a screw right there. You're going to need to take that off, and you're going to want to pull this whole panel towards the back because the clips, you see, are like that. So you're gonna to want to pull towards the back of the car. All right, RCAs and remote wire are ran, and you know you did a good job. And you can't see a single wire. Look at that. Now, all this left is hooking up the remote to the amp, RCAs to the amp, and then speaker wire from the amp to the sub, and we have bass. All right, everything is plugged up. Let me go grab the keys. Always make sure that it works before you put everything back so you could have room to work and not have to take all this stuff back out. So grab the keys, make sure it works. All right, so I just confirmed that it does work. I am gonna need a base knob though because I didn't get a base knob with the amp, so I can't really turn it up and down, but I could tune all that from up there at the head unit, so. And, um. I think I'm going to end it there.